Third turn, we're gonna try to explore a new sector. So we're just gonna draw a place. Ooh, nice. Nice, I hope. And special sector down there, so we'll flip these over. Ooh, autotoxins. Not good. We are looking for a scout of one, scout roll of one to get in there. I'm not going to use my uh, squad leaders command and generate command ability right now. Not really needed. Okay, six divided by three is two, so more than enough to get the uh, scout one required. Place there. And we are going to have an automatic event. So instead of a multi purpose marker, we'll just place the event there. For the toxins, so we automatically trigger the event. When you trigger the toxins event, you roll die on a five plus. Two wounds are inflicted on the troops. Nice. Hold a one. And that's the only way that would have been a zero is if you had, I think it's a one, maybe a two on the black die and a one on the orange die. So that was a one. That's triggered, uh, but we were not wounded. So that is turn number three. Beginning of turn four, we are looking for an advanced three to get into a special node. So I'm gonna do the uh, squad leader here, roll for his command ability. Oop, miss. A one, so that was unsuccessful. And we'll go through these guys one at a time. For Norton. Okay, three, so that is one success level. Murph, it's nice, six divided by three is two, so that's all we need. We'll flip this over, and we're at a blank node. And a blank node, empty room, no event check, but since we are now on a special node, we will go ahead and roll for Intel. Excellent. Oh, almost. Almost perfect. So six. Don't count the black die in this case since it's a three. So we gain two resort or recon points, which are half of what we need on this hard difficulty. All right, beginning of turn five, and we've got to figure out a plan. So we're pretty wounded. For some reason, I removed those wound counters in the last segment. I put them back on there um, for three wounded units. So we have enough med kits to heal three wounds. I can take four. That means I can take, I think, five wounds total before I take five more wounds. We're going to take our first casualty. So this will be a long journey. But I think since we know where these are, I don't want to have to go through five more tiles to get a, um, draw another special node. So on a hive, hives are particularly dangerous. So even when there's an event, uh, the event has already occurred. In a hive, you always roll for a five plus A class event. So there's a chance going through these ones that we are, at least for this one, we're gonna have to fight a combat event. But our combat events are all, if we follow a path up here, Four plus A, five plus A, three plus, we're likely to see something there. Six plus, five plus A. You know, they're not, they're all A class and we're not gonna see combat on all of them statistically. We rolled really high last time to get those five soldiers. So odds are, we got okay odds we're gonna make it there. So I think that's where we're gonna go. I don't wanna go to the Un unstable area. Sorry about that. We're going to go here. I don't want to go through that unstable area up there. When you move to a previously resolved node, uh, the rules recently changed. If we were going to move here, we would normally, uh, historically, you'd roll d6 if you got a zero. Or sorry, the extended dice. If you got a zero, you have a class A event. On a one to five, nothing happens. You just, you move there successfully. On a six plus, you move there successfully. In addition, you move there quickly and you take uh, one turn off the turn track timer. Uh, makes you up some time. However, since we're in a hive, we all automatically have to roll for a class A event. So in essence, I think what we're doing here is we potentially have two class A events we've got to deal with. The first is moving from that node to here, 
got to roll um, five, so nothing happens. But now since we're in a hive, we roll again for a class A at a five plus. Nothing happens at a two. So that is going to now put us onto turn six. So I did some off-camera thinking, and just to make sense of that recent rambling, the recent rule change, all it did was make surface map missions equivalent to hive map missions in that whether or not there's a resolved event, you are always going to roll for a um, Class A event at a scope of 5+. plus. So we're on turn 6. We're going to move up there, and let's see if anything happens. Four, nothing happens. Now let's roll for a class A event. Three, nothing happens. So now we are on turn seven. And we are gonna go here. We need to cl climb into that node. So our explorer has a climb skill of four. Let's see what happens. A six and a one, so that's seven divided by four. That's one success level. Unfortunately, we didn't get an 8. Now let's roll for... We're technically still in that node, so we got to roll for an event. At 4 higher, we get a Class A event. And we got a 6. We will now roll for uh, Mercenaries, see how many we have to fight. 4 this is going to be 3 soldiers. And now we need to roll... We get a five plus, we have to switch them out for battle drums. So, okay, three soldiers. I like that. All right. Let's let generate the command skill check. So, three, not enough, so we don't get a CP there. Range, combat range. We are at a five, which put, puts us at fire range. So we're only going to get a bonus of plus one to all of our fire attacks here due to the vet status for these guys. I think I mistakenly gave him an extra AP last time because he's on a vet and we were fighting all those mercenary soldiers. But we got overkill anyway, so wouldn't have affected anything. Two, two extra hits. So plus one, plus one, plus one. Uh, no addition to any dice. So McFly Norton. Ooh, not good. Three divided by three is just one. Sorry, you get a two plus one there for the vet status. Battle mech Murph, fire team. Ooh, same thing, just one hit, but we'll concentrate fire there. Pirate Mario. So he's gonna have uh, three plus one. Four divided by two is two hits, so we gotta spread those out. Now hopefully Kurt can Deliver two hits here over his two attacks. So the three goes first, so we're at a six divided by three is two. Nice. And then roll for that one last attack at the skill level of four. No hits, but no ammo loss. So those guys are dead, and come in simultaneously to shoot back. Two hits. We're just going to go ahead and use two med kits to heal those wounds. Second soldier. Two and a five, that's a miss. And third soldier. One, that's a miss as well. So those guys are dead. Uh, we lost two med kits, but otherwise we're still in action. Okay, so we are now on turn eight and we need to put an event marker on here. Now we will try to get back into that next node. So, looking for a climb of four when you get a four higher. And we got that with a five. That's the second success level we need. Now we have a three plus. Three higher, we get a class A event. And we get a class A event. Let's roll for the mercenaries. Five and a one. A five is going to be three soldiers. And let's roll again to see if we get a five or higher. Those are going to be battle drones instead. Nope. I'll take it. And let's generate command. 
All right, so we got one command point. I think I can afford to use my intel for an ambush. I really don't want to take any shots. So we're going to use one intel, which is the uh, and use the ambush ability. So combat is not simultaneous this round. We get to any kills we make are uh, prevent the enemy from firing back. So we'll start with McFly Norton. Awesome. Six, so five plus one with his veteran status means he delivers two wounds. All right, Val McMurph. Ooh. Minus one, that's a zero, so the ammo goes down. Eight. Uh, Pirate Mario. Four, five, so four plus one is five, divided by two, we get two hits. So we'll just make sure those guys are out of there. And then Kurt Enzo, two fire attacks. Here's a three. Nice. Success. So that guy's dead. We'll roll for one more. Okay, no lost ammo. That was a hit. Anyway, so those guys are dead, and we took no return fire. So I did forget to uh, roll for range on the last battle with the mercenaries. I rolled off camera, whatever. It was a uh, fire range, but uh, we were stick with it anyway. It's the most likely range to be fought at. So that's done. Uh, I need to put an event marker here. And we are going to aim for that node there. So our explorer has a tracking skill of three, so hopefully we roll six. Oh, we got one success level. And we, since we're staying there, we do not roll for an event. Let's go ahead and uh, now it's turn nine. Yeah, well, since we already had an event there, we don't have to have another one. And that's a good thing I brought the light because all of those com combat checks, uh, skill checks to navigate uh, would have been at a negative one difficulty and would have been, we would have got punished otherwise. Okay, so turn nine, let's roll to see if we can get into here. Three, so divided by three is one. So we got our second success level. We'll move into there, mark that as being explored. And then roll for a event. Six plus. Hopefully we get less. Nice. Okay. That's the end of turn nine. All right. So a couple errors here. Um, one, then this was uh, not to my favor. For some reason, I looked at that and saw a blank node uh, multiple turns ago when we got to that special node down there. That would have actually gathered us uh, intel. So, um, I mean, that was an error. If I do... I'll figure out what to do on the next, when I see uh, the next card. But uh, that's, I call that a blank node, but it should have been some intel. Um, and then with all the videoing, I do write things down here, so I'm actually keeping better notes on a crib sheet. But um, we're actually on turn 11 right now. We're keeping track off camera, but uh, sometimes I forget to move the turn marker. I'm more of a writer than a marker mover. Okay, so we're on turn 11, and we need to s use the scout skill to get into that node. So skill level is three. Got a five, that's just what we need. One success level. I'll move into there. And now we'll roll a five. Hopefully less than a five. Four, nice. So if we're lucky we'll get into that node without dallying here, without having to stay. If we do have to combat in this sector, we have to worry about narrow passageways, which means only two of our combat units will be engaged at a time, as well as two of the enemies. So it's more, we'll be fighting on a narrower front. 